Uh, so hi everyone. Today I will be exploring a very beginner friendly tutorial on lang chains. We will be starting with a very very basic example on how to use lang chains for ex for using LLMs. So lang chain is basically a framework that helps you to build apps around LLMs. So directly using LLMs, you need to provide a very big prompt to get a very specific task <coughs> for a very specific task. So eventually lang chains helps us to build these apps with its framework where you don't need to provide a very detailed prompt uh, eventually the detailing is taken care by lang chain and apart from that multiple strategies also it provides you so how you can use llm so let's get started so we will be here we will be discussing about three basic apps that i have created that i've coded out using the lang chain documentation that i've run and you can also have an idea ki how easy it becomes uh, using a llm using lang chain so let's get started so first of all you need to pip install lang chain and pip install open ai once you are done we'll importing three items for now one is a chat open ai from chat models other is the prompt templates chat prompt templates system message prompt template and human message prompt template so i will be telling you how these three prompt templates are different and lang chain chains dot llm chains so basically uh, first of all we'll deciding only what sort of an app we want to create so uh, in the first app that i'm discussing it would be around it will check a uh, english sentence that i will input and check whether the correct sentence is correct if it is correct it gives an output correct else it rewrites the sentence so here you can see that the system message prompt template is basically used to tell the system what this app is all about so here you can see that i have given it a prompt you are at english teacher the user will provide a english sentence as input output correct if it is grammatically right else output wrong and rewrite the sentence in the next line now this i fed to the system message prompt so now this because now i don't need to repeat this part of the prompt again and again now as i pass it to the system message the llm will understand ki okay this is the task that i need to do now the other template is human template equals to text so this is basically the text input that we would be providing for each of our use case so basically uh, we have made this template static and eventually that the input text that we we'll putting that won't be static that would be changing so here we have made an app very easily using a uh, human template and system message template which what it is doing it will be checking your grammar for our english sentence now chat prompt is basically combining the two prompts that we have created one is a system message prompt that we have created other is a human message prompt so human message basically the input that we are providing system message basically what task you need to do we have combined it using a chat prompt now we have created a chain object using the llm chain where we are passing the chat open ai object do remember that you need to have a api key for this and then passing the prompt equal to chat underscore prompt so chat underscore prompt is nothing but a combined version of the system message and human template now i'm running this particular app for four of my inputs get out of my get out house my you you are beautiful i love my parents he have done his task so here you can see that prompt one is wrong you get out of my house it is able to rewrite it also because i have mentioned this in the prompt prompt two and prompt three are correct because they are grammatically sound the fourth one is also incorrect so it is mentioning it as wrong and he has done his work he has written it right so how you can see that how easily you don't need to repeat the prompt section that you have already told the app to do and even just inputting that input text now there are multiple things that you can do the next app that we would be creating is like changing the tone of the input sentence this is also very interesting so here not just the input text that we would be inputting but also the tone so there are two parameters that we are feeding so here you can see that how the template has changed a bit you are a helpful assistant that rewrite the input text according to the tone present under curly braces so curly braces mentioning anything becomes a variable that you need to pass as a user again the uh, the whole format remains the same we are passing this basic template what you need to do as an app to the system message and then human template remains the same and then we are combining it using a chat prompt again we are creating an llm object uh, with chat open ai passing the api key and chat prompt which we uh, which includes a combined version of system message prompt and human template now here you can see the how i am running this prompt so in this case chain dot run text we are mentioning i am a boy and tone is angry so when you are uh, when you need to input multiple variables here you can see that there are two variables that you need to pass one is tone other is a text you need to pass a dictionary text equals to this tone equals to angry i am a boy tone is angry i am a boy and i demand you to acknowledge it so it shows that the person is angry he is adorable he is cute tone is sweet his friend died tone is regretful i am sorry to hear that his friend passed away i kicked his friend akash tone regretful i deeply regret kicking his friend akash so here you can see that how easily we have customized the template also that if you want to have some sort of parameters you want to customize the template you don't want to have a static template you can use this the third one is is basically more interesting that is we would be passing a list of parameters and eventually we are expecting an output in terms of a list 
so here what we have added is that this is a particular app that are built for language translation so in this we will be providing a list of languages as s comma separated list and eventually we will expect an output also in uh, terms of list as comma separated so let's see how we can do it you are a helpful assistant to translate input text to output language now output language is a multiple language separated by comma separate the outputs for each language by comma right now we have written a parser class here so basically whatever output the llm is generating using lang chain we are also providing it a structure so whatever text we are getting we are stripping it and then eventually splitting it over a comma so we will get a list of outputs the format remains the same we are creating a system message where we are passing this what to do template into the system message human template remains the same we are combining the chat prompt template uh, we are combining the system message and human message using the chat prompt template everything remains the same but we have added one more thing that is the output parser equals to comma separate list output parser this class that we have created so this class is nothing it has a basic it has a function called as parse in which we are splitting the output using the comma now if you look into the uh, sample that we have run i am a boy language input language is english output language is hindi comma italian so you can see it has translated it as main ek ladka hu suno arn ragazo that is in italian so here you can see that we are getting multiple outputs we are passing multiple inputs so languages also we are getting multiple output also that are separated by comma so here you can see that how you can reformat your output also that is coming from an llm yeah that's all for today